Hi guys, welcome to Music Theory Grade 1, Part 3, Time Signatures and Groupings. Please remember that Music Theory is a progressive subject, so make sure you've watched Part 1 and Part 2 before you watch Part 3. Okay, we're going to start with time signatures. A time signature tells a musician how the rhythm is organized within each measure or bar. Okay, this is a measure, also known as a bar. The notes in the staff are grouped into measures or bars by bar lines. Okay, this is a bar line here, and obviously they divide the staff up into bars or measures. Time signatures are found at the beginning of each staff after the clef. In grade one, you're expected to know four different time signatures. Time signatures look a little like math fractions. This is 4-4 four, four timing. This is called common time, which is actually the same as 4-4, four, four, but because it was such a common key signature, they developed a shorthand symbol. This is called 3-4 time, and this one is 2-4 time. Time signatures have what we call a numerator, which is really just the number on top, and a denominator, the number on the bottom. The numerator tells us how many beats there are in each measure or bar, and the denominator tells us what note value makes up a beat. Okay, for in 4-4, four four, for example, the numerator tells us that there are four beats in every bar, and the denominator tells us that the beats are crotchet beats. So what this 4-4 four, four time signature is telling us is that there are four beats per bar and that they are crotchet beats. Okay, remember when we learned semi-breves, minims, crotchets, quavers, and semi-quavers? Well, in this table we can see the value attributed to each name. A minim is a half, a crotchet is a quarter, a quaver is an eighth, and a semi-quaver is a sixteenth. This is why when the denominator is a four, the beats are crotchet beats. If the denominator was a two, the beats would be minim beats. But don't worry, in grade one, we will only be working with denominators of four, therefore crotchet beats. Okay, four four time signature, meaning four beats per bar. The beats are crotchet beats. In other words, four crotchet beats in every bar. And you can see an example on the right hand side. Four crotchet beats in the bar. Common time. As I said, this is just another way of writing four four. So again, meaning four crotchet beats per bar, which you can see on the right hand side. Three four time. This means that there are three beats per bar and the beats are all crotchet beats. Therefore, three crotchet beats per bar which you can see in the bar on the right hand side. Two four time. Two beats per bar and the beats are crotchet beats. So two crotchet beats per bar, which you can see on the right hand side. Now it is very important for music to be simple to read so that the musicians can play the music accurately, especially when the music is fast. For this reason, some notes can be grouped or beamed together so that they are not complicated to read. Semi-breves, minims and crotchets are long notes and don't need to be grouped, but the smaller notes like quavers and semi-quavers would be quite overwhelming to read if they stood alone. So to simplify things we can group them together. Now you can see in example 1 the quavers have not been grouped together and there are quite a few notes to read. But example two has grouped the quavers together and it really looks a lot simpler. Any musician would be far happier to read example two than example one. Okay, in the table on the left, we can see that quavers can be grouped together by adding a beam between them and semi-quavers are grouped by adding a double beam. Now remember, rests are never beamed together. We have to follow some rules when grouping notes, or else it may prove more complicated to read than before. In order to simplify things, we keep groupings within each beat, 
as a musician needs to be able to see each beat separately. If you look at the first example, oh, it looks very difficult to read because the composer has grouped the second beat to the third beat. So we, we're not really able to see clearly that there are four beats in that bar. Whereas in the second example, you can see each beat clearly. You can see four crutch of beats. And it's far easier to read than the first. Also, remember to give rests their value and realize that they make part of the beat. If there are rests, be careful with your grouping. Make sure you don't group notes together that are part of different beats. You can see in the example on the right. Rests are really crucial parts of music, so make sure you learn your rest properly. Okay, making grouping a little trickier. In music, we have strong beats and we have weak beats. Beat 1 is always the strongest beat in every bar. In 4-4 four, four time, beat 3 is also considered a strong beat, whilst beats 2 and 4 are weak. In 3-4 time, beat 2 and beat 3 are weak, and in 2-4, beat 2 is weak. We can group a strong and weak beat together only when the strong beat is first. For example, we could beam 4 quavers together if they were in beat 1 and 2 but we could not beam beat 2 and 3 together, as beat 2 is weak. In example 2, we can see that the first and second beats have been beamed together on those four quavers, but this is okay because the strong first beat is first and it's beamed to the second beat. But in the example below, where we have beat 2 and 3 beamed together, that's a no-no, as beat 2 is a weak beat and cannot be, be grouped to group 3, beat, which is a strong beat. Okay, time signatures and groupings. What do we need to remember? We need to remember the four different time signatures. 4-4, four, four, common time, 3-4, and 2-4. Now you really need to be able to recognize these and write these, so make sure you paid attention. Grouping. Quavers and semi-quavers can be beamed together in order to make reading more simpler. And remember, rests are never grouped to other rests. When determining each beat of the bar in order to group notes, remember that rests form part of these beats as well. Also, group notes within a beat, but do not group notes from different beats together unless there is a strong beat first. 